Who was the fuck was buying this shit? Ah, I just bought it! The Oni Fathom, which we have coined the term Sinatra Oni Fathom. Like pudding? Oh. Bonnie? Valorant players have probably committed every single sin in the Bible. What am I talking about? Not probably. They have. Don't believe me? Uh, I'm just gonna get straight to the video. Seriously, Pride is the first one? I mean, rules are rules, I guess. So today we're gonna be talking about the Pride Bundle. That's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke. No, 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 today we're gonna be talking about the bad kind of Pride. I'm actually gonna be nitpicking on you Diamonds, Ascendants, and specific Immortals, bro. I swear to God, bro, every Diamond and Ascendant player I've met have such a big ego, bro. Oh my God. You guys are in third and fourth place. Place. Why are you guys flexing, bro? You shouldn't be that excited over third and fourth place. Like, I swear to God, they invalidate every point I make because they're diamond. Like, I I've literally had ascendants who tried to justify insta locking jet and lurking every round on attack. And every time I was against it, it's just, no, no, keep talking while in gold, bro. I'm ascendant. You're nothing compared to me. Whatever you have to say about my playstyle means absolutely nothing to me i'm ascendant yeah and i have a girlfriend i actually go outside and i actually have video footage of that i in fact did go outside stop trying to invalidate every point i make because you have a couple of purple pixels on your screen yeah you're good at the game but there are still people way better than you there's a reason you're diamond and not immortal or radiant bro i do not want to hear it reaver vandal sovereign sword Oni Phantom. If any of these guns sound familiar to you, matter, matter of fact, if you have all of these skins that I just named, you unfortunately fall into this category, bro. I've brought this up multiple times. I'm gonna say it again. There are too many Valorant players that will get on their knees for 10s in Sinatra, bro. I obviously don't mind having favorite content creators. If you like Average Jonas so much, you know, keep watching Average Jonas. Same thing with anyone else that I've made fun of in the past. Like, if you really like Cottontail, I mean, go for it like i'm not really stopping you but it's another thing to like replicate these guys' exact locker combos and like oh uh, looking up oh what's 10's sensitivity if he's pro he knows what he's doing then i need to copy him oni phantom gives you aimbot say less bro let me impulse buy that real quick if you have the sovereign sword and oni phantom that literally is the equivalent of a giant sign over your head that says i have no personality my personality is whatever 10's makes it to be now, I don't even need to explain this one. Let me just show you one clip. Here's a clip of Tarek playing comp as usual. Just him playing in his usual immortal slash radiant lobby. And then there's straight up a boosted iron. You heard me correctly. A boosted iron. Bro admitted that his actual account is iron. Dude. You can go through art. Is this guy boosted? Killjoy. Killjoy, go back, go back. Hey, what's going on? Oh, oh, he's throwing. Oh, 10 seconds oh. left. Keep going, keep going, keep going. He's oh. more to play with your favorite streamers, right? Sorry, bro. Uh, I think I think he's a real player. Boosting and smurfing itself is just a serious issue in Valorant. It's nothing we can really control. Like, everyone can whine and complain about it all they want. Just five stack, honestly. I get too many brain dead players in my comp games. It's not even funny. For real though, if you smurf, you are an actual no life. Like, you could be doing so much with that time you spend smurfing. You could be like curing diseases. You could be making your parents proud. You could be playing in the NBA right now. But instead, in your free time, you smurf in silver life. Lobbies. All of that for a TikTok to get five likes, bro. Get out of here, bro. Greed was definitely a hard one to come up with. I mean, the Oxford Dictionary claims that greed means intense and selfish desire for something, especially wealth, power, or food. Now, we could go back to that whole, like, diamond and ascendant thing I was talking about earlier, but I feel like this would be a good segue to talk about the mob mentality of skins in the game, I guess. I'm not gonna talk about this too much. If you want me to rant about it, here's a video right here. Click that little link on the screen right now. But to keep things short, why are people so biased about skins? Like, some people show no mercy to skins simply because the, the rest of the population does not care about it. I cannot stress this enough, and I know I say this all the time, but I cannot stress this enough. The Undercity collection is not that bad, bro. People be, people be hating on this for no reason. Like, I, I have people in the comment section telling me it's terrible. Seriously? Out of any word you could have used to describe this, bro, you chose terrible? This is terrible. This is terrible. Why is this terrible? 
Oxford Dictionary states that gluttony means habit habitual habitual greed or excess in eating now there, there isn't really a lot of food in valorant like there's pizza but let's talk about eating metaphorically some of y'all just be eating up skins as soon as they enter the item shop bro people some people will see like a super mid phantom in the shop and they're like oh let me buy this for 35 dollars 35 dollars is a lot of money bro do not fall under these delusions that riot's trying to normalize a 35 dollar skin that's a lot lot of money bro you can do a lot with 35 dollars same thing with knives bro some of these knives are just way too overpriced the, the oni like katana isn't that 60 dollars 60 dollars that's a whole game right there and last but not least lust which i'm gonna be honest with you guys it's valorant do i really gotta say anything about lust like before i even say anything about lust you already know what i'm talking about <laughs> you know what roll the clip for every kill you get, I'll give you an ooh. For every kill you get, right, I'll give ben. you an ara ara. For every kill you get, I'll give you an ara ara. All right, Ben. But wait, does that count? Ara ara. Oh, 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 oh. This gaming community is amazing. That's why I'm never touching Valorant again. And if you want to join me, feel free to. This is probably the most kookiest, most funniest, most goofiest bit I've ever made in the seven seas. And that's why you need to subscribe to me right now. Please check out this video. I found this like super weird, like Valorant clone. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like weird and like military. Like they, they're clearly copying the Vandal. Like they made their own Vandal. I think it's called like the AK-47 or something. I don't even know. If you want to check it out, it's right there. Anyways, thank you for watching. See y'all. Bye.